नमस्कार सो वी आर बैक वंस अगेन विथ अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑन फूरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म दिस टाइम इट सेज यूजिंग इनवर्स फूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म फाइंड एफ एक्स इफ नूरियर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म इज गिवेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैंड नॉर्मली इट इज गिवेन इन टर्म्स ऑफ एस बट है in place of s they have given lambda so they, that i think will not create any problem for us so we we'll need to find the inverse fourier sign transform okay because inverse fourier sign transform will give us fx so using inverse fourier sign transform we'll get fx and what is the definition of fourier sign transform that is 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity whatever was the fourier sign transform what was the fourier sign transform that was lambda divided by 1 plus lambda square and with that we have to write sign sx here in place of s we have lambda so sign lambda x ds was there so d lambda will be there okay so in order to solve this let's uh, take some action and multiply divide by lambda so this will become lambda square now add 1 and subtract 1 in the same step first step i did was to multiply and divide by lambda and then i added one and subtracted one just as to make just as to separate this integral into two parts so i get my fx now as this will be 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity 1 plus lambda square divided by 1 plus lambda square that is 1 so you will uh, get sin lambda x divided by lambda d lambda and uh, minus 2 by pi sin lambda x divided by lambda 1 plus lambda square now you know that uh, integral 0 to infinity sin mx by x dx gives you pi by 2 it's a standard integral so pi by 2 into 2 by pi that is 1 so you are getting fx as 1 now here in this second term 2 by pi out and whatever integral is remaining i am taking that as i So I have taken i as zero to infinity sine lambda x divided by lambda one plus lambda square d, and I will now uh, do some operations on that i only. So i is zero to infinity sine lambda x divided by lambda one plus lambda square. now uh, you will solve this integral and 
this will come out to be a function of x because it's an integral in lambda so when you will solve and put limit lambda will vanish x will be left so what i am doing is i am uh, differentiating this with respect to s so on the right hand side i will uh, uh, sorry with respect to x sorry we have x okay so in the right hand side i will use differentiation under integration sign so only terms containing x will be taken care of other will be treated as constant so 1 upon lambda 1 plus lambda square will remain as it is derivative of sign is of course cos lambda x and coefficient of x that is lambda will come out which will eventually get cancelled from denominator now let's differentiate it uh, once again with respect to x so i will get d2y by dx square again differentiation under integration sign so derivative of cos is negative sign lambda x one lambda will again come in denominator i have one plus lambda square now anyway want i in right hand side okay so how can i generate i let's uh, look at what was i it was sine lambda x divided by in denominator one lambda is missing so do one thing multiply and divide by lambda and the lambda square which is there in numerator i am doing uh, something i am adding one and subtracting one just like i did initially in the question so again i will separate just the way i did initially so d square i by dx square will be minus 0 to infinity uh, 1 plus lambda square 1 plus lambda square will get cancelled i will get sine lambda x divided by lambda d lambda and minus minus plus 0 to infinity sin lambda x divided by lambda 1 plus lambda square now this is what i was looking for because this i have got is i and the first term again i know that its value will be pi by 2 i have recently used that here you see so that will be pi by 2 so minus pi by 2 is there so what I am getting now is d2i by dx square is equal to minus pi by 2 plus of i. So if I take this i to the other side I will get d2i by dx square minus i equals to minus pi by 2 now it's uh, becoming a question of linear differential equation with constant coefficient so if you take d by dx as capital d so this becomes d square minus 1 times i equals to minus pi by 2 which i can also write as pi by 2 e power 0 x uh, just for the simplicity while uh, finding the particular integral now first of all my aim will be to find the complementary function and for that I will need auxiliary equation you all know I think because I have made extensive playlist on uh, ordinary differential equation so I hope you all know how to write the auxiliary equation just replace this d by m m square minus 1 and equate this bracket to 0 so from here you are getting m square as 1 so that will give you m as plus minus 1. With this plus minus 1 you can now write your complementary function which will be c1 e power m1x plus c2 e power m2x. 
what about pi that will be 1 upon f of d and that will operate on uh, minus pi by 2 I would have taken out but that doesn't matter Z, e power 0 x so e power a x so that a replaces this d here so because a is uh, 0 so that 0 will replace d so 0 square is nothing but 0 only so pi is becoming you are getting 0 minus 1 that means a negative 1 from new, uh, denominator and a negative is already wait, waiting in numerator so that will cancel them out so I will get pi by 2 e power 0 x e power 0 x is again 1 only so my final uh, solution is always uh, in this case uh, it will be i equals to c f plus pi so i equals to c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x plus your pi which is pi by 2 now it's not over yet because i need to find the value of c1 by c2 and for that we have two definite steps first one is to find the value of i at x equals to 0 from both definition as well as from this particular equation which you have got now so i at x equals to 0 from definition uh, on the right hand side from this uh, expression so if you put 0 you are getting c1 plus c2 plus pi by 2 and from definition if I talk so that is uh, the from the expression of i so from here if you put x equals to 0 you are going to get 0 only so <coughs> 0 will be equal to c1 plus c2 so I am getting c1 plus c2 equals to minus pi by 2 Now other equation I will get from di by ds at di by dx at x equals to 0. So di by dx I can find here at x equals to 0 this is nothing but uh, uh, cos 0 is 1 so 1 upon 1 plus lambda square from 0 to infinity. And from the result, if I differentiate this, this will be c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus x into minus 1. So c1 e power x plus minus c2 e power minus x and derivative of pi by 2 is 0. So this will be c1 e power x. So if I put x as 0 there, so you will get c1 minus c2 e power minus x. Again, if I put x as 0 so you will get minus c2 fine now di by dx at x equals to 0 I told you it will be 0 to infinity 1 upon 1 plus lambda square d lambda equals to c1 minus c2 left hand side you all know that will be tan inverse lambda from infinity to 0 0 to infinity So tan inverse infinity is pi by 2, tan inverse 0 is 0. So you are getting c1 minus c2 as pi by 2. Okay. Fine. c1 plus c2 was minus pi by 2 and c1 minus c2 is pi by 2. So let's write them again.
if I add them together, C2 will get cancelled. I get 2 times C1 is equal to 0. That means C1 is 0. Once C1 is 0, it is quite evident that C2 will be minus pi by 2. Now if I want to write my i again, so i was i was c1 e power x, so c1 is 0 plus c2 e power minus x. So c2 is minus pi by 2. So minus pi by 2 e power minus x. And along with that, I have a plus pi by 2. So let's take pi by 2 common because if you remember, minus pi by 2 take common. I was with multiplication with 2 by pi. So I will get e power minus x minus 1. Now if I go back to that equation where I assumed the integral to be equal to pi, sorry i, this equation. So fx was uh, something which we are looking for in this question. So fx is 1 minus 2 by pi times i. one minus 2 by pi times i. So your fx will be 1 minus 2 by pi times minus pi by 2. Fine. So cancel, 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 minus, minus also plus. So you are getting your fx as 1 Okay, this minus minus became plus, so plus e power minus x and minus 1. So this minus and plus gets cancelled, so you are getting finally fx as e power minus x. This is something which we were looking for from few minutes. So again, Standard steps, uh, inverse Fourier trans sign transform formula, you know, if you take inverse Fourier sign transform of, of fs of lambda, that will give you f of x. And there we simplified first, then assumed uh, that integral as i differentiated with respect to x twice, got a linear differential equation with constant coefficient there, solved it, we know. Uh, that how to solve uh, those type of simple equations and at the end uh, some manipulation some values that gave us the value of c1 and c2 finally we were able to obtain a good equation of i put that back from where we assumed i there you get fx as e power minus x so that's how beautiful mathematics is uh, if you want to solve more such questions on Fourier transform do watch my playlist on Fourier transform. I also have a playlist on Fourier series, Laplace transform, ordinary differential equation, partial differential equation and much more. So for more such uh, topics, do subscribe our channel. Thanks and have a nice day.